hello beauties and welcome back to my channel y'all this is not a drill this is not a test my black friday items are all here and ready to go and we gonna talk about this shit we gonna talk about this shit i honestly didn't go as ham as i had planned to because real talk y'all a bitch slept through everything you know, that, that NyQuil won't really cure in anything, but it was keeping your girl asleep. Yeah. So, I only really shopped a few hair care brands um, and a few body care brands for Black Friday. And that was about it. Camille Rose was my number one. I managed to stay up long enough to get on the site, but when I got on the site, that bitch was acting up. I was so tired. I was not in the mood. So after about 20 to 30 minutes, I was just like, fuck it. And the main things I wanted, the new products, I saw the original prices on them and they were all ranged from like 10, 11, $12 anyway. So I was just like, I could probably snag a better deal at a different time. So I have She Scented Curl Origin, some Mish, Chocolate Kinks and Curls, and a bunch of amazing body care stuff. So if you're interested in seeing my Black Friday haul for 2021, then just keep on watching. And first things first, y'all asked me to keep including this in the video, so I will. My scent of the day is Delice from M. Mika Life. It is smoky, sweet, super duper sexy, bad bitch, boss bitch type fragrance. I am in love with this and I highly suggest her. I will have her linked down below for your pleasure. It is affiliate, just so you do know. But this is amazing. This is like Tom Ford Lost Cherry decked out in leather. It's so good. So good. So first up, we have Mish. I don't have a lot from Mish. I only needed slash wanted two different things because I have, after working with them for Black Friday... I have doubles of all of the limited edition deep conditioners. Actually, the peach one, I think I have triples of now. Um, I have doubles of everyone except for the sweet pumpkin spice. So I went ahead and picked up another jar of sweet pumpkin spice. <sighs> Y'all, this stuff is so good. This is their Ayurvedic deep conditioner. So this has um, like Brahmi, Shikakai, like all these amazing ingredients. There's fenugreek in here. So it has tons of slip. It's incredibly moisturizing. It is kind of like coming in kind of neck and neck with peaches and cream. Peaches and cream is still my favorite um, because it is just so decadent. It just leaves everything feeling pillowy, soft, and decadent. This is another one that leaves my hair feeling amazing as well. But the slip on this is like a whole nother level. Um, it's creamy. It's just decadent. I love everything about it. And you guys know I was mad at myself for not getting more than one last year. So I said I was not going to make the same mistake. Got another one of these. I was not going to be living in the pool of regret that I was in last year because I went through that deep conditioner so quick because I could not stop using it. And then I also picked up another cleansed sulfate free shampoo. This is one of my favorite shampoos. Um, I hope nothing has changed since the last time I used this. It doesn't look like anything has changed, but I also don't have the old bottle. I know some people were like complaining about the fact that it actually cleaned your hair. And I wish people would stop bitching about shampoos doing their job, like grow up. <laughs> like I don't even have like a nice way to say that. Like shampoos are supposed to get your hair clean. Why are you complaining about a shampoo getting your hair clean? It this is amazing. This is a moisturizing shampoo. It gets your hair very, very clean, but it still imparts a level of hydration to it that I really enjoy. And when I finish cleansing with this, my hair just looks super duper plump, shiny, and it accepts products so well. Listen, it. those of us who like our heads clean know this for a fact when our heads are clean the way our hair accepts product is just different it's different it's a great experience i like being able to tell that my products are working and being able to tell that my products are able to be as efficacious as they can be because what's the point 
<laughs> of not making sure your products can do everything that they are meant to do. This is one of those shampoos that I just love to use at the end of the week. I almost got the detox shampoo as well, but I have quite a few clarifiers in my stash right now that I know it's going to take a while for me to use up. So I said, let me just get cleansed because I knew I had finished it. This is amazing. It's stellar. I just, oh, I love this so much. And I missed it. I have a lot of shampoos in my collection. So if I miss a shampoo, I know that it truly is something that I love and something that I want to keep. Okay. And then we have chocolate kinks and curls. So I have so much um, chocolate kinks and curls in my stash right now that I was like, I really didn't want anything except for their limited edition clay kit. So Juanita had mentioned that for Black Friday, she was going to do a clay kit featuring all three of the limited edition deep conditioners that came out throughout the year. And it was so funny because when I did my Black Friday video, my like guide and wish list, um, the sale was supposed to be live, but it wasn't up yet. So I had kind of forgotten about it. I was like, I'll go back and check and get what I want. I had kind of forgotten about it until I was like kind of scrolling through Instagram and they had made a post. There were only five of these kits left and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so I ran, got my card, got what I wanted and dipped. And I was like, thank you for saying something because I almost missed it. And it was so funny because then they posted on their story. They were like, correction, there's only four left. <laughs> and that was the reason for that. I love Chocolate Kings and Curls and I love Miss Juanita. She's so sweet. But I did miss out on a lot of the limited edition stuff that came out with paying for all this computer shit. And, yeah. So this has all three of the limited edition deep conditioners, deep conditioners, clay washes that she released um, this year. The first one is the Terra Black Clay and McKee Berry clay wash you guys know I love this this is my favorite this is bomb this is my favorite one so far I do have the green mint clay one that I need to try this is the only other one that I need to try but this will be a backup for me I do have a couple more in my stash I wasn't mad at having a backup of that at all because I use my clay washes frequently like they're not things that are just going to sit around um and then these are the two that I missed out on the first one is the coral clay and methy mango mango clay wash that's what she looks like i'm just going to open these up because i know that i'm going to use them soon so i'll show you all the texture her clay washes are just so decadent if you have never tried a chocolate kinks and curls clay wash you are missing out on such a unique decadent and luxurious experience i say often that these are not these are not necessarily like must have items in terms of like things that you absolutely have to have to maintain and keep your hair healthy. These to me are luxury add on additions that I like to add into my routine. I like adding clay into my routine because it's great to detox um, in that way, but it also is really just great for curl definition. Like if, if my hair is ever lacking, like it's starting to look a little funky, a little weird, I pull out one of my clays. Um, and Chocolate Kings and Curls makes some of my favorite clays, as well as Sultanicals. Um, so oftentimes I'll either use this after, or any of these, after I do a shampoo session, or I will just use these as co-washes um, in the middle of the week. It smells so good. Very fruity and tropical. Look at that color and texture. I just know this is going to be amazing. I heard amazing things about this. So I'm really happy that I was able to try this out. There was a milk that came out with this too, but I didn't even check to see if it was on the site. It probably was on the site because there were quite a few things that she did restock, um, kind of as like a last round thing, but it's cool. This is the thing that I wanted to try the most. And then last but not least, I was super excited to try this out. Um, this is her Purple Clay and Taro Yam Clay Wash. And I believe this came out for domestic violence awareness, if I remember correctly. And I'm excited to try this too. Mmm. It's sweet and a little earthy. I I'm here for it. I really like the smell of this. 
I'm excited to try this. I didn't read the ingredients on the last one, but this has um, acai berry, slippery elm. Ooh, ooh, that slippery elm is gonna be good. There's Brazilian purple clay, shikakai, um, taro yam powder, coconut butter, amla, sesame oil, jojoba oil, y'all. I can't wait to use this. I don't know if there's going to be, there probably aren't going to be that many hair videos before the end of the year. Um, just because I really am trying to solidify like my end of year favorites. Um, and this month has gone by so fast. This is the only thing when you get in work, everything goes by so fast. Everything goes by in a blur. Like I feel like when everything is planned out and scheduled and you have deadlines, like I feel like the world goes by so fast. Um, so I'm already try basically like drawing up those lists because I'm going to give you guys a week of favorites at the end of the month after Christmas. Um, so we'll see. I might try to sneak in a few more hair videos. But I also was thinking that when it comes to the Twist Out series, I think I'm just going to wait until the first of the year to post that. Are you guys cool with that? I just think it would just make more sense. Like start off fresh year um clean slate like all that good stuff starting a new series you know as opposed to kind of getting it boggled up in all of the hoopla of the holidays it's, that's kind of what I'm thinking and also shout out to Niche and Chocolate Kings and Curls because my stuff from them came so fast look I didn't even get a shipping notification from Chocolate Kings and Curls my ish was just on the door one day I was like what <laughs> sis just pulled up like hi we're here all right, and then we have Curl Origin and She Sent It. I didn't go overboard with either one. I got a few repurchases um, and some new products. So let's start with Curl Origin first. I only have two products from them. These released a couple of months ago. I had planned on purchasing them, but other things happened, and I had to be a responsible adult, so, you know, yay adulting. Um, so we have two new additions to the Pink Superfoods collection. I think there's also like a serum of some kind that was also added to this collection. We have the Pink Superfoods Leave-In Conditioner. This is lightweight. It's supposed to detangle, smooth, and hydrate. And this isn't a huge bottle. This isn't a 13 fluid ounce bottle, which I'm not mad at at all. I can't remember how much this was. I threw away the pack and slips, but it was like $14, $15. So this is huge um water infused with black currant seed there is goji fruit extract fig blueberry this does have some btms in it which is going to give you that slip there's also marshmallow root which is great for slip hoba grape seed slippery elm Ooh, this is going to be nice this is giving like lightweight super hydrating slightly defining vibes so we'll see i'm excited to use this um, I, look, she sent it Curl Origin. Their leave-ins are always really, really good, so. And then I have the Pink Superfoods Weightless Styling Gel. Um, this is also formulated with black currant, fig, and goji berry. So this reminds me a lot of the more recent gels that have come out from she sent it and Curl Origin, like the Hibiscus Honey, um, collection from Curl Origin, and the what is it my favorite one from she sent it y'all know plum nectar and agave there we go so this reminds me of that but it's giving a little bit more wobbly jelly type texture it's not as fluid as those my boo xavier was telling me about this Ooh, this smells really fresh yeah this smells very fresh my boo xavier was telling me about this and he was saying that this was he was really enjoying it um, so yeah, it has all of those highlighted ingredients at the top, blueberry, jojoba, grape seed. This does have PVP slam in the middle. There's beet sugar, which y'all know I love. Um, Irish moss is also in here. Ooh, there is glycerin, but it's down in like the last five ingredients along with xanthan gum. So I'm excited to see how this works. I think if... If I do any more product reviews before the end of the year, it's going to be for this collection because I've been wanting to try this for some months now. So we shall see, we shall, we shall see. Um, and then she sent it. 
they came out with a new line for um the holidays they did drop a new line i honestly wasn't very impressed or excited about it um I, I don't know like it just ever since plum nectar and agave and maybe maybe plum nectar and agave was like their bad romance for me like i feel like <laughs> y'all know how, how what what bad romance did for lady gaga that's what plum nectar and agave did for me and i don't feel like i have enjoyed a collection as much as i did when that collection came out like that collection was everything for me um and you guys know what actually topped a lot of my favorites it's standing as my favorite collection from them um so they released their sugarberry and honey clay um collection and this has like four or five products in it um there was a cleanser a hair mask i want to say a leave-in and a curl cream if i remember correctly this is marketed towards type 4 hair um you guys know to me i i don't i don't care um <laughs> and to me that's just marketing so this is what it is there's no way to formulate for a shape um so i got two products from the collection the first one is the sugarberry and honey clay wash this is supposed to gently cleanse hair without stripping away the moisture um and i'm just gonna be real with y'all this just looks like looks like conditioner let's see there's russell clay and bentonite clay smack dab in the middle so we'll see how this goes it's giving it's giving co-wash vibes though um, I've kind of been desperate for she sent it to go against the grain a little bit and come up with some things that actually feel different. It's not a bad thing when you have something that you know works and you kind of stick with it, you know. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. But I feel like sometimes they market certain things and they just don't live up to the expectation that we have for those ingredients like they're still stellar products and they work amazingly but you're just hoping for one thing and you get something that feels like something you already have you know what i mean so yeah it doesn't have much of a smell yeah just a light sweet scent but you can see like it's, it's giving conditioner um so we'll see. I'm thinking I'll probably end up using this as a co-wash. My favorite co-wash from them is the blueberry co-wash. Um, I should have purchased another one. I think I don't even think I went to look for that because every time I go to repurchase it, it's sold out. So I put y'all on the stuff and y'all be buying all of it. Save some for me. So I'm excited to try this out, even though it is giving co-wash vibes, but you guys know, like I use my chocolate kinks and curls, um, clay washes as co-washes often. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just curious to see what the texture is going to be like. It looks like it's, it's very creamy, but it doesn't look like it's going to be as rich as like something you would get from CKK. Um, and then I also got the Sugarberry and Honey Moisture Rich Mask with raw honey and beet sugar. Some call outs. Yeah, that beet sugar is really, really high up, which excites me. That's an ingredient that my hair seems to really respond to. There's also blueberry extract, blackberry extract, um, avocado oil, sweet almond oil. There is raw honey lower on the ingredients list right next to vegetable glycerin. Um, and there is some castor seed oil at the bottom as well. We're just gonna go ahead and open this up because I know I'm going to use it within the next month anyway. Ooh, ooh! I like this texture. Okay, you can you can get more of a scent on this. The scent is still very light though, but it smells like candy. Like y'all remember those runts? That runts candy kind of smells like that. Look at how rich. I'm trying to hold this up without dropping anything. Look at how rich that is. Ooh, this looks like a custard that you would just scoop into a pie. Like, oh, okay. I'm excited to try this. The, the co-wash, I'm like a little excited with this one. I'm like a lot excited. Well, the clay wash. So that is what I got from the new 
sugar berry and honey collection. So excited to try those. Um, and we'll see. I just, I didn't see the point in getting another cream because I have so many She Scented and Curl Origin creams that I'm trying to finish up. It felt counterproductive to me, so I just decided to skip. I would have loved if they came out with like a gel that was like the one from the Apricot and Alipe collection if they would go back to that kind of format. But I know a lot of companies say that their flaxseed gels just don't really sell. Like people want you to make a flaxseed gel, but they don't want a flaxseed gel to act like a flaxseed gel. Like if you want to, if you want a stronghold gel, go buy a stronghold gel. <laughs> like flaxseed gels have never been that and will never be that. Um, and then as far as new products go, I also got the Juicy Curls Styling Gel. This came out a couple of sales back and I figured I would just wait to pick it up. This has mango, guava, banana, cherry, pineapple, grapefruit, and melon. And it, this has a very like simple ingredients list. Um, the first ingredients are those um, marketed extracts. There is PVP in the middle that is followed by vegetable glycerin and xanthan gum. There's some beet sugar, raw honey, and avocado oil as well. So I'm really excited to try this because when I opened it up, it reminded me a lot of the macadamia fixing gel. And a little bit of the um, oil and gel hair pudding that you guys know I absolutely love. So I'm really curious to see how this works. Mm. It smells nice. It kind of smells like the macadamia fixing gel too. I had that. I don't think I ever did a video on it, but it was good. Um, it was nice for like more elongated fluffy wash and goes. And it was also good for like slick back styles. And it mixed really well with the pomegranate pear leave-in. So I'm going to see, I guess I'm going to have to see which of the leave-ins from this collection it works best with hopefully it works best with the one that i like which is the milkshake um but i'm excited to try this i've been wanting that for a while and i do have some backups because i went ahead and opened up my last jar of this this is the plum nectar and agave curl perfection styling custard i do have a video on this and it's amazing like this one of my favorite um wash and go products of all time um like i said before this kind of gives like the curl maker vibe without the like that heavy raw honey and agave like type feeling that you can get I just love this so much and it's one of my most complimented wash and goes to every time I have this in my hair I get stopped and I also purchased another um moisture rich hair mayo from the plum nectar and agave collection this is a bomb deep conditioner I only have one jar left so I said let me go ahead and get another one this is one of those collections that like I will have a backup somewhere because I just love it I actually had to stop using this collection for a minute because I used it so much that I was forgetting about other products um so this is amazing it just makes your hair feel bomb it kind of has that if you were into like the cholesterol back in the day this is what I would want that to be for my hair um, it makes your hair super shiny. It feels super silky. And oh my God, put this in your hair after you use the Plum Nectar and Agave shampoo. <sighs> Bomb wash day. I would use that stuff right now if it weren't for the fact that I um, have a deadline that I have to handle. So yeah, so that is all the hair stuff that I got. Um, I think I did modest like the main things that I wanted were what I got like I said I wasn't that excited by the new she sent a collection so I just got a couple of items but I'm excited to try some of these new goodies like I'm really excited disappointed that I did miss out on some things but I mean it's okay it's not that big a video life could be worse but I a bitch needed her sleep okay <laughs> I actually have a lot of body care so um, I shopped Nola Skin Essentials. They came out with some limited edition products for the holiday. And I also shopped with Rule by Mercury Bath Company. Y'all, everything is just so beautiful. Everything smells so good. Um, some of these products from Nola I've already used. So let's go over them first and then we'll get into the stuff from Rule by Mercury Bath Company. So let's do the brown sugar babe stuff first because that's the stuff that I've used. 
I got a few things from this collection. I actually think I got everything. I think I got everything except the shower butter. If I remember right. So I picked up their whipped lotion. The body cleanse. The body buff. And the body butter. I love how like simple their packaging is. Um, let's talk about the body cleanse first. Can we just... It's just, it's giving melanin magic, okay? This is not, it didn't smell like what I thought it would smell like. I should have looked at the notes online, but this has like a bit of a, it's like a sugary, like brown sugar and citrus type of scent. It smells really good though. You will literally smell like candy. Like it, oh, it's so good. This is, it foams up really well. It makes your skin feel very, very soft after you finish cleansing. And I mean, you can't get over this. Um, I know they were saying that they're looking into getting like the bigger bottles. I think part of the reason they haven't is because everything that they do is glass. Um, so there may be some weight issues with that, which I understand, but these are totally worth it for me. Um, I've been using NOLA for a few months now and I love their body care. They have a scrub that ugh, makes my skin feel so good. They have an amazing um, cleansing balm, which is back um, for the season. Love it. One of the best cleansing balms on the market. So I had to go ahead and get some more of their body stuff since they came out with a lot of new body care. So the body buff, also in brown sugar babe. That's what she looks like. And you can see there is some sparkle in there. I like it when they do that because it leaves like a little bit of a sheen on your skin. So if you're going out, you know, I'm trying to get a little touchable for your boo. Mm-hmm, yep. This is so nice. I've also used this. It has the perfect amount of grit in it, but it also leaves a little bit of like that oil on your skin. So it adds some an extra layer of like just glistening softness. Um, I think this, the base is both sugar and fine sea salt. This has shea butter, um, grapeseed. There's a lot of different things in here. Um, there's radish root, it has a lot of different ingredients, ingredients that my skin loves. All their products are very gentle on my skin. And my body feels so good when I finish using these. The lotion, I love her lotion formula, so I had to get some more. I have the Watermelon Dew body lotion. And they also came out with more Watermelon Dew products. I almost got those, but I was like, I'm not really that much of a watermelon person. Like I have to be in the mood. I have to be in the mood to smell like a watermelon. You know what I mean? Um, that's not always like my zhuzh. It's not always my vibe. Um, so I was excited to see lotions and other scents. And that's what she looks like. So this is a whipped lotion. It's very lightweight. Um, but it leaves your skin feeling so soft, supple. It's a lightweight lotion that still leaves a lot of emollients on your skin but it's very hydrating so i really i've really been enjoying this i already knew that i liked the formula um so for me it's just having a different scent mm. and i like it i like it and then i was super excited to see um body butters offered from nola and i had to get a couple of them i kind of want to get the other scents I actually, I'm about to re re request a refund from KinCare because they've been playing with my package. Um, I haven't said much about their shipping because um, y'all know the first time I ordered from them, it took a minute to get my stuff. But then after that, like their shipping was fine. Like I didn't have any issues. But they literally like did a sale before Black Friday um, and just kind of went off the grid and they tried to play it off like they were hacked and I just don't believe it. Like it's it's giving big lie energy. I think that they genuinely did not have 
everything they needed to fulfill the orders and they just kept doing more sales and more sales which is stupid um so i'm about to request a refund and i might use that refund to get more of my nola i'm just saying this is the brown sugar day body butter it's a skin softening whipped cream this literally feels like dessert on your body like i can't even lie <sighs> Now, I'll be real with you guys. I tend to stray away from body butters that have like heavy like shea butter bases. Like I like things that are like mango butter, cocoa butter, stuff like that. This does have a shea base. This It has shea butter, cocoa butter, and avocado oil in the top. And I don't know what they did, but this feels amazing. It does not feel sticky. Most shea... Most shea-based body butters make my skin feel sticky. What I like to do is I'll use like a hydrating lotion and then put my body butter on top. That's what I did with these and my skin felt so yummy and ugh. My skin was so soft, y'all, like amazing. Definitely like trying to get up there with my body butter phase. Y'all know butter baby, pinky blue, like those are my loves. Um. Ken Care wants to be up there, but Ken don't need to get it together. Um, <laughs> but also Butter Me Up Goods as well is, has some of my favorite body butter formulations. This is trying to be up there with them. I'm enjoying this. And then I also got a very different scent. This is um, in the scent Doing It Well. And this is like a calming, um like a lavender jasmine kind of aromatherapy type scent so this is what they look like i really like the black and white packaging on these so i got the doing it well body buff it smells so calming and comforting she looks like and the body butter yeah this smells so good this would go really well with the go the f to sleep products from rule by mercury bath company just saying so that is what i picked up from nola and now that i've kind of played with some of these formulas since they're new to me and i know that i really like them i definitely plan on getting more from the holiday collection before they go away and last but not least, we have Rule by Mercury Bath Company. Y'all, I have so much stuff here. Some of the prettiest bath bombs you will ever see. Um, I will have my code here on the screen. I believe it's Third Eye Angel, Third Eye 10. I believe it's Third Eye 10. I will have it listed on the screen here and in the description box. If you head over to her site, you can save 10% on your order. Um, and you also do help support me as well. So thank you. Um, but... I, uh, her holiday collection was just so pretty. I had to get everything. We have the Candy Killer Bath Bomb. This is scented with peppermint, white sugar, and vanilla. Look at how pretty that is. Like, it's the artistry for me. It's the attention to detail for me. Elizabeth from Rule by Mercury Bath Company. And Marquita from Butter Me Soft are literal artists. Literal artists. <laughs> um, I can't wait to use this bath bomb. I know it's going to be so pretty. Um, but the one I want to use the most, Elizabeth knows I was wanting this. This is so beautiful, y'all. This is her Release and Let Go Healing Bath Bomb. Beautiful this is. She packaged this so well. Like she put it in, a, in these so that the flowers wouldn't get crushed. But can we... This is so beautiful. I know the colors are going to be amazing. And it's giving like a sweet floral, slightly citrus. It smells so good. So I can't wait to use this. I just know it's going to be amazing. Um, I might use this for my bath tonight because I have been jonesing to use this bath bomb. Next up, I have the Winter Night Bath Bomb. Sweet Mint, Vanilla Cream, and Candied Apples. And it's a cute little cloud. I love it 
so beautiful. I already know this is going to make the bath super gorgeous. You have frozen kisses. She does the lips a lot. Also, um, Butter Me Soft Marquita, she does like the lips a lot too. Um, sweet mint, candied apples, and vanilla sugar. These are so beautiful, y'all. Like, love it, love it, love it. I can't wait to use these. I've been using Roll by Mercury Bath Company for almost a year now. I've been a brand rep for Roll by Mercury Bath Company for a couple of months. And like, it never, it never gets old. Everything is just so beautiful. Speaking of never gets old, I always have to get these um, giant bath bombs whenever they come out. I got something on this. I can't see the notes. No. This is their November um, jumbo bath bomb. So these are huge. Like, it's almost the size of my head. And your girl got a big ass head, okay? Um, but these also come with like crystals embedded inside as well. Um, and this is giving citrusy, very citrusy, lemon, orange. Love the color. So I'm excited to try this. When I use this, like this is like a big treat yourself moment. It's big treat yourself energy. So I always have to get one of those. I have one more in my collection, her birthday one, um, which I'll probably use soon. And then she's been doing these a lot recently. Um, this is her um, Alana's Spicy Cider Bubble and Bath Bomb. So this is in a mug. It's in a little teacup. How cute. What I love is that, I mean, it's, you know, it's multi-purpose, right? So you can use this and then you can clean it out, wash it out, and you have tea. Um, so that part has a bubble scoop. So you'll take this off and you'll run it under the water. I like to put them in my little Rule by Mercury Bath Company bath bomb basket, which you can get on her site. Um, I think her site is currently closed right now, but I'll put the dates for when it will reopen. You'll run this under the water and you'll get your bubbles and then you can lower this. The bath bomb part is in the mug and you'll have your nice, warm, cozy bath bomb session. This smells like an actual treat. Like it smells like apple cider. It smells so good, y'all. Um, Elizabeth just did her thing with this. This one and the Alice in Wonderland launch that she did amazing candies and freebies and stuff like that i think she gave me a freebie of go the f to sleep yeah a little go the f to sleep bubble scoot it amazes me how potent this scent is if you want something that's nice and relaxing like go the f to sleep is that shit and then last but certainly not least we have the candle magic um uh, mental clarity bath bomb look at how y'all when I saw this I said I'm getting this I, I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting this I need it the great thing about this is that you can actually get more than one bath out of this if you want to you can crack this in half and use use these separately or you can throw the whole thing in there um I have too many bath bombs to be cracking anything in half and doing multiple baths so um this is going in one bath I can't wait to use this Mm, yeah, it smells fresh and clean too. I'm super excited to use all of these. Um, like I said, Elizabeth just, her stuff is art. Like it's just pure art. That is everything I got for Black Friday. Everything came super duper quick. I was like shocked by the fact that I literally had everything. Like usually I'm doing my Black Friday haul the following year <laughs> um, or like right up, like real close to the end of the year. So I'm excited that I can put this up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you picked up for Black Friday. I know every time I do a wish list, I never have like even half of what was on my wish list. So I'm curious to see how y'all did. Thanks so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.